Hi, it's time for us to take up gas laws. There are so many gas laws. If you count all of these laws, there are eight gas laws that you need to be able to be familiar with. And before you start any mathematical calculations, you have to be able to understand the concepts behind each of the gas law. So for now, we're going to start with a very basic and a very simple concept of Boyle's law. What is really Boyle's law? Let's begin by looking at this graph between pressure and volume. So the graph will clearly tell us that um, there are two variables that's being investigated in Boyle's law, and these are pressure and volume. When we plot with actual experimental data, the relationship between pressure and volume of gas substances or gas molecules at constant temperature and a constant amount of gas, you would see that the trend is going down. There's a drop as pressure, as you increase the volume, if you look at the x-axis, as you increase the volume, your pressure tends to decrease. So we can see from this graph that pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other. A very good illustration for that concept is this. If you have like an isolated container in which you would ensure that the amount inside the container is constant and you can move up and down the cover by varying the weights on top, if you look at the weights on top, so if you have this amount of weight, so this is the volume that the gas will occupy. If you slowly increase the weight, so you would, you would expect that the volume of the gas molecules will be smaller this time with a constant amount you would notice that with a smaller space the gas molecules will tend to collide more and hit the walls of the container and the further you increase the masses the smaller the volume gets and the smaller the spaces for the gas molecules to move and remember Boyle's law is considered to have constant temperature and constant amount when we talk about constant temperature, the average kinetic energy of the molecules are just the same. So they're moving at the same rate, at the same speed, but with smaller space for that movement, you'd expect frequent collisions and frequent heating on the walls of the container. Now, if you look at the FET simulation, FET simulation is this. Um, if you if you look at this particular um, illustration of FET, at constant temperature, we don't vary the temperature and we also don't vary the amount inside. You can move up and down the volume. So if I will press the finger downward, thereby decreasing the volume, you expect the pressure to increase if you look at the pressure here. Now, if I move this up, increasing the volume, you would expect that from certain hundred plus atmosphere, you are now having less than of it and the pressure slowly decreases. And again, the reason for this is the frequency of the collision of the gas molecules to each other and at the same time, the frequency of the heating to the walls of the container. So basically, that's Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law is the relationship between, um, between your pressure and volume at constant temperature and constant amount of gas. So um, the Boyle's Law equation is just this. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So decreasing the volume increases your collision, thereby increasing the pressure. So there are four variables in gases. We have pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of gas in moles, which is symbolized by N. So if you are to have a proportionality um, expression for this, so we would see that pressure is proportional to the inverse of volume. Now, because this is a proportionality expression, we have to transform this in, an, in a mathematical equation form in which you have to put in a constant value. So if you're going to make this proportionality expression into an equation form, it's going to be pressure is equal to a certain constant k. So let's just make it a small letter k for constant variables t and n for the most amount of gas. k times 1 over v. So since the constant doesn't change, if you want to get k, we cross multiply. If you want to get this and transfer volume to the other side, we cross multiply and the expression becomes p times v 
is equal to the constant, which doesn't change. Because in gases, if you look at, if you go back to your FET simulation, we can vary pressure and volume. So that means we have what we call the initial, initial pressure and vol volume variables, and we also have the final states of gas in, in terms of the final pressure and final volume. For the initial, we will term it as 1, and for the final, we'll put a subscript 2 to indicate the final state of your substance. So if K, this K, doesn't change in all cases, if you vary pressure and or, or volume and then the, uh, the other variable will follow, the P1 times V1 will just be actually equal to your P2, V2, the final state. So that means the product of P1, V1 is just equal to your K and the product of P2, V2, which is also equal to K. Therefore, the final mathematical expression of Boyle's law is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. There are only two variables, P and V, because Boyle's law takes into consideration the constant variables T, and your n. So take note, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. That is for Boyle's law. And there are no particular units that you need to follow as long as you remember that P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. The units have to be compatible so that you can cancel out what you need to cancel out and get what is the required unit. That's as always in all mathematical equations when you substitute values, the units have to be compatible. So you have to recall your conversion factors for pressure and volume so that you'll be ensured that you can get the final answer. So in the next video, the next video for this, the next in the series is that you have to know now how to be able to apply the formula of P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2 in a mathematical um, problem solving, okay? So please take note, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Take note of that in your notebook and always remember that the concepts are really important before you memorize this particular equation. So bye for now. That's it for Ball's Law. And please watch the next series on how to calculate it or use it in the problem solving. This is Madam Narka saying, don't stop learning, relearning, and unlearning. God bless you. Bye.